Hi, this is John Landry, and this is my interview for Gibson.com and Epiphone.com. So we're here with John Landry on the Gibson Guitar Tour bus during the CCMAs. Uh, how's your CCMA experience been so far this year? Well, we just got in this morning, so it's... Uh, oh, you did? Uh, yeah, we flew in uh, from Port of Prairie. Have you noticed any differences from any of the other years you've attended? Yeah, there's always new faces and stuff, but there's still some of the old crew, so it's, well, uh, it's pretty cool. Well, you're, we hear you've been busy recording a new CD, which is set to come out soon. Um, can you tell us a bit about what, uh, what it's about and what the fans can expect? It's, um, we really went back to what we did on that first album, where it was, there was no timetable, there was no, it was just, we basically took a road band, uh, instead of using studio musicians, we just wanted the same guys that create that magic on stage with me every night. We, we sat in the studio and we put together the entire album, uh, and I even went back and wrote with some of the songwriters that I've become very close friends with, specifically ones that I'm very good friends with, because we just wanted that comfort level there and uh, tried to make an album that I'd want to listen to with my CDs, CD player. Sounds good. We're all going to look forward to hearing it. So in 2007, you made the decision to join the Canadian Air Forces and uh, began helicopter pilot training. That's right. um, so recently, you just you were just awarded your wings. Um, please tell us about that experience and what brought um, brought you to the decision to to get into that and how it's helped your career. Um, well, it's funny because growing up, it was never my intent to be a recording artist. It was never my okay. intent to be um, even a flight medic. What I did previously and. Uh, I always wanted to be a helicopter pilot. That was my dream. And, uh, at, when I was 21, I was unable to join because they had closed the program. Uh, they didn't need any more pilots, so I uh, missed out on that and never thought anything of it. I mean, it just you know, I saw another opportunity, grabbed it, and uh, then this music business thing happened. And we've been doing this for the last 12 years. And um, three years ago, I got married, had a baby, decided we want to. Uh, to have something a little more uh, where I'm, I'm home a little more because we were on the road quite a bit as an artist and um, I just happened to go into a recruitment center more for fun than anything else and they had just opened the pilot program they had just opened it and um, so I signed up I know it's a very lengthy process to go through and a very difficult process and, and I kept waiting after every test for them to tell me, yes, no, you're not going to make it, you're too old, uh, or some reason or other. And yesterday they presented me with my captaincy and uh, Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank Did, you. Do you find that it affected like your creative process at all, or, or um, songwriting or performing? I'd be lying if I said it didn't. It was... Um, for writing songs and stuff, I've always always gone through these periods where you're sort of taking things in, uh, getting the ideas, but there was really no output. There was nothing, the creative juices for creating the songs wasn't there. And I think for the last three years, I've just had so many experiences and I've, I've drawn on so much stuff that I think uh, the next couple of years we'll be doing a lot of writing because I've certainly got a lot of stuff to say now. Of course. <laughs> So let's talk about guitars for a minute. Um, what are your favorite Gibson guitars and why? My favorite still always has been the SJ200. It's just, I love, we call her the fat girl. She's just, <laughs> this just beautiful sounding guitar. And uh, I'm a baritone and she just compliments my voice. And um, that's always been one of my favorites, but the uh, Gibson makes a whole bunch of different ones. We even got a banjo, just, just got a band, brand new Gibson banjo and uh, I'm trying to learn that, that's, uh, it'll take me a bit yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could design your own Gibson guitar, what would you, what would you do to it? Uh, well, I'm also a fan of the arch tops with the F-holes and all that, so, I don't know, I'd find some, some version of the, uh, the semi-acoustic, um, you know, the ES-335, somewhere, but that would probably be the, the perfect guitar. Huh. So, back to music for a sec. Um, do you have any touring plans? Do you know when anyone can expect new songs? Well, we just found out yesterday where <laughs> I'm even going. So, uh, I'll be uh, uh, I'll be flying Cormorant helicopters um, in the eastern side of oh, Canada uh, for search and rescue. So, uh, now that we know where we're going to be, we can start uh, making plans. But the album's coming out in October, I believe, or end of September. And then uh, the plan is 
come spring or early next summer, we're going to start uh, setting up a tour. Oh, okay. So my last question is a trivia question. Uh, since we're in Edmonton, Gord Bamford's hometown, um, he's nominated for seven awards. What is your prediction as to how many awards he's going to take home? <laughs> um, he's up for seven awards. I say he takes three. Three? All right. I'll give him three. Well, you guys heard it first. Thanks so much for coming in to give to us. Thank you. It's great having you.